Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. I'm going to talk to you guys about creating your own custom functions. So we have went over a few of the Python built-in functions such as print like this. And this is the function name and then there's parentheses right here. And within these parentheses we pass in arguments. Well, we're going to create our own uh, custom function today. And the way we do that is you want to click File, New File, because we don't want to run it in the shell. We want to create a file so we can uh, define as many functions as we want. We can also say what we want to do with the functions down here. So the way that we make a function is we use the keyword def, that stands for definition or defining a function, and then we give it some type of function name. And try not to make it super long, but make it to where the function kind of describes what it's doing. That'll make it a lot easier instead of saying definition or def one or something like that, you know, because one may not give you an idea of what you're supposed to use it for. So let's say def and then we'll say print something because I'm just going to print something to the screen when I call it. And in the next tutorial, we'll get into passing arguments into these parentheses. So after the parentheses, we're going to put a colon and hit enter and it should tab over. And if it didn't, if you're typing it in a uh, notepad or notepad plus plus or sublime text or something like sure that you tab over and now what we can do is we can just actually use the print function like this print say print something function was called like that to debug our program make sure it works hit enter again again and go all the way over to the left so anything that's tabbed right here before a new line starts all the way at the edge will be considered to be in this print something function. So go all the way to the left and now we can just call it. So we say print something like that. And if we ran this, first we got to save it. So let's say file, save as, I'm just going to call it test.py, save, yeah. All right, and now what we want to do is hit run and run module, and it'll run it in the shell. So there it goes. Is it printed out exactly what I wanted it to do? So that is the basic idea of what a function is. And just to review, you start off with the keyword def, which stands for define. And then we're going to have a function name with parentheses right here. And you have the option of passing in arguments right here. Um, I'm going to go over that in the next tutorial. Then you're going to end it with a colon and then indent and put all of your uh, function statements to be executed right here tabbed over. And then down here we can call the function or we can prompt the user for the function. So we'll get a little bit more involved. This was just a basic overview. So please subscribe below and watch the next video for passing in arguments. Thank you guys.